I'm passionate about science, but we need to bring it down to size. I was taught at school, some teachers were very good, some were a catastrophe. But anyway, I was taught the law of gravity. We've talked about gravity, so we might as well continue with it. But in my naive understanding of that of my teacher, the law of gravity explained gravity. I was an adult before I discovered, to my infinite surprise and delight, the law of gravity does not explain gravity. Newton didn't know what gravity was, and he said so. It's right in his famous statement, I do not make hypotheses. Non fingo hypothesi. That was in Latin his statement that he didn't know what gravity was. But he did know that he got a wonderful mathematical description of something that enabled you to do brilliant calculations. Now, we're in the situation, I often say to people, what is an explanation? What is the scientific explanation? And of course, the naive thing is, that's the explanation. We don't need anything else. We don't need God. I say, half a minute. The law of gravity, what does it explain? Gravity, no, no. In fact, Richard Feynman will tell you, nobody knows today what gravity is. The, nobody knows what energy is. Th this is, I remember you saying that uh, the last time we were together, ask someone, ask a scientist who works with energy at the highest level, what is energy? The idea, I mean, to me as a layman, that that scientist really has no answer. Yes. And you've said the same thing now about gravity, that we know it's, it exists, we know about it, but somehow even the greatest scientific minds of our time don't know what it is. And the great ones will admit it. The, oh, the greatest ones will admit it. But Let me pretend to be a philosopher for a second and quote Wittgenstein. It's always very impressive when you quote Wittgenstein. Yes, it is. It's tremendous stuff. Um, Wittgenstein once said, the great deception of modernism is that the laws of nature are explanations of the phenomena of nature. They are not, they're only descriptions. So the law of gravity describes what happens. Brilliant, put people on the moon using it. But it doesn't explain it. So even in science itself, explanation is rarely complete. Yeah. So what people now have to face is, explanation is rarely complete, even on its own terms. Secondly, science cannot explain everything. If well, science was the only way to truth, you'd have to shut all literature faculties, all history faculties, all art. It's ridiculous. <laughs>